So, everybody put your hands together, make a round of applause for Matt Hutter. Thanks for coming out, everyone. Thank you, Teddy. That's the second or third time he's introduced me. Um, I was talking to uh, one of my coworkers the other day, and he was like, how's the comedy gig going? And I'm like, pretty good. I'm going to a place I've never been to um, on Thursday. It's called Pickles and Pints. And he's like, you're doing gay bars now? <laughs> I, I debated back and forth whether I should use that joke or not. T tonight could be my first and last time invited here. But um, my theme for obvious reasons tomorrow. All my jokes tonight have a theme of love and relationships because it's Valentine's Day, which reminds me, um, this summer I will be celebrating 25 years of marriage, wonderful marriage, thank you. I met my wife um, in the early 90s at the University of Dayton. Wow, got some Dayton fans here. And um, I, I still remember the pickup line I used on my wife. I, uh, we were at a party, I got introduced, and I, I said, wow, you remind me of my first wife. And she was like, geez, how many times have you been married? And I was like, none. <laughs> but our first story of the night has, uh, it, it's filed under the category, looking for love in all the wrong places. I read last week, there was a TSA agent in Los Angeles. This is a true story, he was fired. He ran the security line at the airport, he was fired for looking down women's shirts and their pants. It was crazy. He caught the same woman twice. He tricked her into doing it. Now, for me, that, I hate that line. It's super awkward. When you have to take off your shoes, it's so embarrassing. If I were going through the TSA checkout line and I looked and a couple people in front of me, you have to show your pants, I'd be like, I'm out. Disney can wait. Sorry, family, back it up. But anyway, he, he pulled this woman down the hall and said, I need to do a private inspection. Took her to the elevator, and he got her to show her her shirt, her bra, her pants again. He was fired two days later. Why it took the government two days to fire him, that's another story. But I was thinking, this worker that he fired, his real name is um, Jonathan Lamelli. He's 22 years old, this LA TSA worker. He's 22 years old. Do we have any 22-year-old men here tonight? Close, one's close. And, um, Men, you remember what it was like when you were 22 years old. You, you only thought about one thing 24 hours a day, maxing out your 401k. <laughs> and no, seriously, I think this Jonathan, the night before, the TSA guy that fi was fired, his employee, or I'm sorry, his coworkers, he was, uh, they were probably at a bar drinking beers, and they were like, Johnny, my man, we dare you. I'll bet there's no way you can get paid to look down women's shirts. And he's like, Hold my beer. And that's exactly what he did. He got, he got fired. Now, my luck would be I'm going through the TSA checkout line, uh, the security metal detector with my family. And if my wife were to ask, oh, I forgot to ask, honey, how did you do at the comedy club last night? And I was like, oh, it was awful. I totally bombed. And TSA agents would surround me. And I'm like, no, no bomb. Who bombed? I got no laughs. I, I got no laughs. That's what bomb means. But our second story involves a, a workplace scenario. I own a small IT company. I do tech support for a living. There are some people in the crowd here tonight who I do tech support for. <laughs> and um, I had a customer hire me to monitor an employee's internet use, spy on him, if you will. We installed this clandestine software. It, it watches everything. It's crazy. The internet sites you go to, chat rooms, email, etc. We let it cook on his computer for three weeks and then it produces a report. It's, it's crazy the amount of detail. It was a 20 page report and I had to bring it back to the owner of the business. I'm like, Paul, you're not gonna believe this. This employee's definitely stepping out. He's stepping out on his marriage. As it turns out, he was hooking up on Craigslist. This was a married father of three. He was hooking up on Craigslist with other men and that's that's not the worst part of the story. The owner of the business, this was his son-in-law. It was his son-in-law. And, and, and I was like, and I, I was like, awkward, party of one, now seating. Awkward, party of one. Let's just say the turkey tasted different at Thanksgiving for that family from that point on. But I know some of you women in the audience are like, Matt needs to install that security software on my family's PC. And probably most of the men in the audience are like, 
I need to hire a hitman so Matt never touches my PC. That's my time. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks for coming out. <laughs>